How's it going, everybody? This is Justin Fatik, and hopefully you're uh, watching uh, these YouTube videos. If you want to see more videos, go subscribe right there. Yep, you know where to go. Subscribe to the YouTube channel and check out more videos like this or follow at Justin Fatika or at Your Amazing HN. You can find all kinds of good stuff. So today I want to talk about something very important. Dedicating your life to others. Dedicating your life to others. Some people might ask, you know, I've been working out for a long time. And some people might ask, why? Why do you work out? And I, my big thing is I work out for others. For me, it's a prayer. Because what you think about the most and spend the most time with is your God. And I want to think about God and others more than myself. That's the goal, to get joy in your life. I believe to love Jesus first, others second, yourself last, as I was taught in, in school. But I can tell you that there's some unbelievable experiences I've had in life when you dedicate your workouts, you dedicate your life to others. So one example is an all-time football coach. You know, I, you know, I coach basketball. I don't know if you know that. So I'm really connected with coaches. I have a lot of coach friends. But one of the all-time best coaches, high school football coaches in the state of New Jersey is Jack Jones. He's sent at least 10 football players uh, to the NFL through coaching teams. He's in the Hall of Fame. And I used to hang out with him a lot. I remember I'd get picked on for bringing a message. He'd be like, oh, man, he goes, when they're picking on you, they're keeping all the other poor schlubs alone, you know? So he was one of these guys that, like, he always, if there was lemons, he'd make lemonade, you know? He's just one of those guys. If there was trouble, he'd, like, say, oh, trouble's good, you know? You got to look at it in a good way, you know? He would uh, be one of those people like my mother. If I killed somebody, he goes, at least he'd tell me, at least you did it the best way, you know? And so I really love the guy. Well, he got cancer. And so it really broke my heart. So I was like, man, Jack Jones got cancer. He's like a football coach. How does a football coach get cancer? And I was visiting him just to hang out. And we used to sit on his, you know, as any, you know, Yoda type guy, you know, the guy with wisdom. You sit on his, you know, rocking chair and he'd be back and forth telling me story after story after story. And so his daughters, who's actually one of his daughters, works for us now, Doreen came to me and a couple of them said, hey, you know, I heard you're going to work out at the gym. Can we come with you? And I'm like, oh, man, no. I got two girls coming to work out. Not, not against working out with girls, but I mean, it, you know, sometimes, you know, it just can distract you, you know? You can get distracted. I want to focus on the workout. And uh, so we get to the gym and they're like, how do you do this? You know, how do you do that? And like, what about that? Now I'm like, okay, I, I don't know what to do. So I go, who, who are you working out for? Who are you dedicating this workout for? They go, well, what do you mean? I go, well, what I do is, is a prayer. I like to work out for people that are, you know, suffering. So do you have anybody suffering? I knew their dad was suffering. They go, well, mm -mm, uh, daddy, he's got cancer. You know that. And I go, well, why don't you work out for them? And it was like Rocky Bobo, like, what are you waiting for? And I go, get the curls out. And they're like, oh, oh. I mean, these girls were going out there sweating and giving it everything they got. And I realized in that moment, like, that's what everything we do should be for others. For others, like dedicate our life to the big dog upstairs and dedicate our life to others. And so they said that they never got sore, more sore in their life than that workout. They say they always remember that workout. Why? Because it was a workout for somebody other than themselves. Well, I can tell you that that message has kept going for me. Because this weekend, I was coaching basketball. And our 11U blew everybody out. We won the championship against one of the premier teams and what have you. But our 12U got blown out by 32 points the first game. Now, I thought we were a pretty good team, but they... They weren't falling through on a lot of things. They, they weren't in the right spots, and they weren't listening like I thought they were. And we end up winning the rest of our games, and we get to the championship game, and we're playing the team that beat us by 32. So me and the assistant coach are encouraging them, going, look, 
we got a chance here to win this whole thing. Start over. Let, let's start over. Like the video that I had the other day, start at zero, one day at a time. Let's, we got these guys. We can do this. And all of a sudden, they went up by 16 points. And the other, the other coach is like, what's going on here? He calls a timeout. They start putting the press on little by little. The other team, they start getting nervous. The other team gets back into the game. And then they tie it up with 19 seconds left. I call a timeout. Coach says, I, I know, I got the play. Power one. We're going to put power one. We're going to set it up. I got a great guard. And we're going to get our big guy to set that big screen on him. It's game over. And if he doesn't get it, he's going to kick it out to the corner. We got a great shoot. He's going to knock down the shot. And if he misses the shot, he's got to. So I'm all pumped. So I get in the timeout. I'm getting all excited to tell him to play and say, it's fine. We're going to be okay. And all of a sudden, Luigi. It had to be the Italian Luigi. Luigi raises his hand and says, Coach, I got to say something. Now, nothing against Luigi, but like, Luigi, you, you know, you're not in the game right now, okay? <laughs> like, we're dealing with these five in the game. Luigi, what do you want? He goes, Coach, we're going to be okay. I'm like, Luigi, why are we going to be okay? He goes, Coach, remember? Remember what you said? Who are we doing this for? Who are we doing this for? And all of a sudden, I look at the players. And they were like, yeah. And they were like free. They were like feathers. Like they were gas. Like they had no energy. Right? But now they were free. Because when you do it for others, you're free. Because you know it's good. You know it's noble. You know it's the right thing. I'm like, yeah, Luigi. Who are we doing this for? I set up the power one. I said 10 seconds. Make the play happen. The guard. He pounds the ball. Bam. Bam. Bam, 10 seconds happens. All of a sudden, the screen hits. He makes the layup. We win the championship. Game over. And Luigi, Luigi makes it happen with the great. Who are you dedicating your life to? Who is this for? Don't make it about yourself today. You're going to hate your life. Make it about others. Make it about the big dog upstairs. Do it for them. And if we do this in our country, our country will be amazing an amazing nation i love every one of you let's dedicate our lives to others and to the big dog upstairs and let's make a difference and luigi you're my hero you gotta love luigi 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 that guy's great have a great day and if you like these videos all right hopefully you do make sure to subscribe subscribe at the youtube channel right there and make sure to be a part of the amazing nation we love you we believe in you and i hope to see you again